Welcome back to Academia. Lifelong learning is a topic very meaningful to me, so today I want to share a story from my university life. Currently, I'm finishing my master's degree to become a teacher in German, psychology and philosophy. But the story I want to tell you today happened during my third year at university. And I thought I would share it because it taught me so much about learning. What am I talking about? Well, I had to take a course in theoretical philosophy and I chose formal semantics, basically language philosophy. I read about it a bit in the course preview and since German is my first subject and I liked languages a lot, I thought it will fit very, very well. However, when I first stepped into the small classroom and listened to what the professor was talking about, I quickly realized that I was the only person that was studying in the teacher's program. You see, at my university you're able to choose focused courses from the regular bachelor's program as well. And normally they weren't chosen so much because they tend to be more difficult. So not seeing any familiar faces from the teacher's program was already a bad sign and the first indication that this course could be difficult. The second shock happened to me when I first looked into the script. I was confused because I saw mathematical equations. What was that? How is this language philosophy? So I sat there and thought to myself, can I do this? There was so much knowledge required already that I didn't know what to do. After the lesson, I went to the professor and asked him if this course was doable without prior knowledge. And he said, yes. He didn't convince me, however, and the university also didn't offer tutoring sessions for this course. But at the same time, I had no other choice than sticking with it. I wanted to get the credits and not waste my time, so I decided I will stick through this course. With all this motivation, I have to tell you, after three, four weeks, I was still completely lost. Even though I did every homework, read the script ahead and knew what was coming. I even went to the professor every week after class, asking him questions, and I even talked to another student about it. He was very smart. However, in class, I was so shy because I had the feeling everybody else seemed to understand the topic. So I was confused, I was shy, and I was scared. You see, this is nothing new. In school, I used to hate mathematics, always. It felt like it was my one weakness I could never combat, no matter how hard I would try. Through doing this course at university, I thought about that again, and my beliefs regarding maths. I was trying to combat this story in my head. I wanted to show myself I can improve. But again, the weeks passed, I had headaches, I was tired because of it, and most of all, I was scared to fail this course. Due to working part-time, I was staying up long nights trying to understand the topic. During the Christmas holidays, I finally decided to lock myself in the university library, looking at the notes for seven hours straight and trying to memorize it. I didn't want to understand it, I just wanted to pass. I did every equation so many times and tried to do it without even thinking every single homework again and again. To be honest, this experience showed me that I was the dumbest person in this classroom and I had to accept it. Even though I did the homeworks, I read ahead, I had weekly appointments, I read additional books, which I also didn't understand, I had to accept that I was the stupid person in the classroom. And it was also my mistake for not checking the subject more. So I learned that and now I actually can envision other people that try really hard to get better in a subject, but fail due to different reasons. But this story has a good ending because I actually passed this course. The teacher was very supportive and the script really well structured. I even got a B in the end. Even though I didn't end up to be the most intelligent person and I also didn't have the best grade, I still believe that this experience was really important. And now, you wouldn't believe, in the end, I actually liked the topic a lot. In my master's degree, it's not my focus. But this course is the thing I'm most proud of in my philosophy teacher's degree. But how was this experience lifelong learning? Well, working hard and patience always works out. Sometimes it takes a month 
sometimes it takes five months and I had to simply try it and learn it one more time for myself. I also learned that failing is okay. I learned it again and again because I failed every single homework prior to the exam. Another thing I learned through this course was that being humble is one of the most important things you can actually be. Because you will never be the smartest. Never. There will always be someone that's faster, better, smarter, more beautiful. It's about showing yourself how much you can improve. It's not about comparing yourself to other people. It's about looking back and seeing who you were yesterday. I hope this video inspires you to work hard and persevere even during difficult times, even when you feel like you're the dumbest person in the room, because I believe in you and I know you will do it.